A crazy sea creature is terrorizing the nation, with reports of a super scary lobster jump scare popping out of nowhere to the terrifying tune of Toccata and Fugue in D minor by Buck. You may have already seen this lobster beforehand, however, as last year it made news as a special cotton candy lobster caught by Bill Coppersmith of Maine. A high quality image of the iridescent creature was taken by publication Get Maine Lobster, of which Bill is a regular contributor, alongside a feature on his catch and its 1 in 100 million rarity. This image would go on to be posted and shared across the internet by Bold Brash on the 16th of July this year, when they decided to post it as a jump scare alongside that other classic video of a guy dropping a watermelon into a big hole. It's basically the lowest quality rickroll ever, joining the ranks of getting stick bugged and other bait and switch videos utilizing film requiring an audience to lean in and look closely, until they're surprised by a loud noise and repetitive imagery. However, the difference is that it manages to take the concept of low quality effort to the extreme, as a static lobster image doesn't really have anything to do with music commonly associated with Dracula, unless you are scared of shellfish, in which case, good lord it must be terrifying. Lobsters have always featured heavily in digital culture. From the Iraq lobster clip from Family Guy to the surreal musings of the 2010s, lobsters just keep popping up and enjoying a lifespan as a goofy animal somehow considered a delicacy. The fact they've commanded a presence so long online is quite fitting, considering how lobsters are effectively immortal, only passing away when they get too big to molt and their shells begin breeding bacteria. Groups like Plans to Create and Worship Our Leviathan Lobster God have thrived for years, enamored with the idea of helping a lobster grow by assisting molting until it becomes absolutely massive. It wouldn't be surprising if the blue cotton candy lobster appearing in the jump scares is worshipped just as much, considering the high impact splash it's been making on social media for the past month. On that note, despite the premise being fairly simple, it is surprising to see it doing so well for so long. This trend has lasted for an entire month, demonstrating that many memes, even simple ones, have the ability to thrive over long stretches of time in 2022. Essentially, the lobster jump scare reminds us of the fact that the creatures are kind of goofy looking despite their delicacy status, and coupled with Takata and Fugue in D minor, as well as insane levels of generation loss, it's become a true monster from the deep ready to pop up at any time, anywhere, on social media. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>